Cole Hansen, 126 pound champion, a two time champion now. I don't know if you knew this, there's only nine guys that have ever won two titles in Atlantic history. Kind of what does that mean to you to be part of a pretty exclusive club? I think it's pretty cool how there's not that many Atlantic wrestlers that have done what I've done. But uh, the real challenge is what's coming in the next three weeks, the postseason the next few weeks is what really counts. Tell me about your match, what was it, 7-3, I think it was? Yeah. Had Those three were all on escapes, controlled it throughout. Um, just how did you get it done today? Just Were you that much more fit, that much better wrestler? What was, in estimation, get was the difference? I'm feeling a lot better. These last few weeks, I'm feeling a lot better on my feet, working my shots. And, Last week at John Jay, I was feeling good at my, uh, with my shots, getting to my shots and finishing them. And the same thing here today. It seemed like almost every shot I got in on him, I was able to finish him. And he, he's a he's a good wrestler. He has a good, good strong base. Like, it's really hard to turn him when I'm on top. So the escapes were okay. But working, I'm, I'm feeling really confident with my shots. feel like you're peaking at the right time of the season. You won John Jay last week. You win today. Obviously, you got to keep winning from here on out to get to... Des Moines, are you at your best right now? I'm feeling really good. Uh, in, the, in the practice room, I feel, I feel like I'm going harder in there, too. And it's, I feel like it's also showing out on the mat uh, at the last two tournaments. And I'm feeling really good and looking to keep it up in the next few weeks. Any part of your repertoire you need to fine-tune here before things get rolling next week at home? I'd say probably getting up. I mean, you'd be doing this. This is the fourth year doing this, yeah. and is there anything more you can do at this point? Where you kind of are who you are. Just kind of keep doing me. Just I don't know, I'm feeling pretty confident in all my abilities, so I'm not really looking to change much up, but maybe a few little things here. And there. Thanks, not Cole. Let's bring in Chase. Chase McLaren is a three-time champ. I don't know if you remember this, but I it was Harlan two years ago. I think is where conference was, and I asked you when you won the first time there about being a four-time champ. Obviously, that's on the table now that you've gotten here. And there's only three other guys who've won three. Do, do, you, do you enjoy this moment, or do you start to think about being the first guy who could, first Trojan to have four? Uh, you know, I'm not even, yeah, I mean, I guess I'm looking for four, I mean, at this point. I mean, it's already done. Um, Obviously, yeah, you're looking more to the postseason this year, but. Yeah, I'm looking more to the postseason now. Um, It'd be, it'd, it'd be special to be able to win four, but, uh, you know, my goal has always been uh, been past uh, a conference title. You know, I want to I want to win state titles. And uh, I think kind of with that, uh, the conference titles have came. You know, uh, the Hawkeye 10 is a tough conference, and uh, it's an accomplishment to uh, be able to uh, uh, win uh, win the conference title here. But uh, at this point, I'm, I'm looking farther. When you think about your career and when you got started, like I just said, this you're one of just four now. What is that? How good of a wrestler do you feel like when you're part of that club, or, or do you feel like you need postseason achievements to sort of validate who you think you are? Uh, you know, sometimes I just lay in bed at night thinking uh, how I'm going to leave my mark. And uh, you know, one way is the is the uh, the all-time wins record, conference sure. wins. But uh, what I really want is is state titles, and uh, that's kind of something that's never really worked out for me in the past. You know, the past two years I've had uh, tough matches in state, but uh, that's that's in the past. Um, these next two years. Um, no reason I can't win. So today got a second period pin, I think it was second period, right? Yep. It, it had a lead, uh, felt like from my perspective, you just controlled it from start to finish. And I mean, did, you, did you wear him down in that quickly or did you just catch a catch a hook and find something there? Uh, he kind of, he started off really quick and he kept on like trying to grab my ankles. And uh, you know, in the first period, I just kind of, I just kind of got him with my technique, kept, kept hand control. And then uh, second period, I think he was pretty tired. I got out, and I think uh, that was kind of all she wrote. He let me, he let me get a uh, double chicken wing, and uh, then I pinned him. So I came, kind of same question I just asked Cole. Is there anything more you feel like you can do to prepare at this point, or are you kind of are who you are as we look towards sectionals? Uh, I think it's more of a mental preparation uh, that needs to be done. Uh, you know, I've been working, I've been working all year, uh, even in the off season, uh, on the technique part, on the you know, on the wrestling part, but uh, at this point, it's just self-belief. Uh, that's the biggest thing, and uh, I do believe in myself. But I think that's just uh, that's just the only way I, I uh, can improve. Because it's hard, you know. You know, you want to you want to uh, use what's been mm -hmm. what's been what's been uh, been working for you, I guess. What uh, what was it like to see your brother in a title match as a freshman? 
Uh, it was really special to me. I was, I was really hoping that he'd win it. You know, I, I, it was really cool. Um, when he lost the match, like I, it really hurt me. Like I, I never really saw anyone else lose and like actually felt felt the pain myself. But I really wanted to see him win that match. Well, uh, it felt like he kind of had control. He just couldn't escape and couldn't finish anything. He, he took more of the shots. So you gotta, you know, obviously you can't. You could always. If you win win it next year, you can never match it. You can have those bra bragging rights. But yeah. you gotta like how he's progressing in his first year. Yeah, I'm very proud of him. Uh, you know, I don't think very many people expect him to come this far. Um, you know, I love him, and uh, and uh, I think that uh, he has a, a bright future ahead of him. All right, let's bring in John. Thanks, thanks, Chase. Yeah, thanks. John McConkey, two-time champ. There's only nine guys in program history that have ever done that. You, Cole, you and Cole joined that club today. You think about your career, what does that mean to you to be a pretty exclusive club? Uh, it feels great, especially the Hawkeye 10. It's a tough conference uh, with some great competitors, and especially heavyweights always been a pretty deep class. So You and Sanders had a little embrace there at the end. Is that just part of being 10 times on the mat against each other? I mean, you guys are so familiar with... One other. Do you have a relationship off the mat at all, or is that just seeing him so much? You, you kind of, just it's just the respect deal. We've never really talked outside of, never really talked off the mat. I think it's just we have a great mutual respect for each other. We know we're both great competitors and great athletes, and I know neither of us like to like to lose. So it's just a mutual respect for each other. Now, obviously, you would have win or lose, you still would have had the head-to-head -head, uh, series wrapped up, but. How much did you just want to be able to? And I know, like you said, you don't talk off the map, but you're, you've won it twice. He's won it once, all three against each other. Just how much do you feel like that makes you the superior wrestler in this series? Uh, I don't know. Just looking back on it, and I'm sure when I'm an adult, older in life, I'll look back on it and remember all the great matches we've had. And he's, I guess some would say, yeah, he's my rival, but. You know, we've just been great competitors, and mm -hmm. it's, it's been fun to wrestle them. How much were you, uh, with, with your guys' matches, this is, two, two of them this year have come down to ultimate tiebreaker, so that flip after the first period tends to have a, a lot of weight to it. How much are you thinking about that as you're going through the match, and I've got to make a move or score a point here because it's so hard when you get to ultimate tiebreaker to hold them down. Is that where all the, because you were obviously taking a lot more shots. So was that on your mind when you were trying to, obviously you're taking shots to win also, but how much are you trying to avoid getting it into ultimate tiebreaker? You know, last week I was just not satisfied with the ultimate tiebreaker victory because at the end of the day, you don't want to leave it up to the coin flip. So I knew even last night before the match, and before the match I knew, hey, I want to go get, I don't want it to end in ultimate tiebreaker. If that means... I'm shooting my shots and I get caught and get taken down, so be it. But I wanted to work my stuff and try to score points and try to shoot my shots and ultimately ended up in my favor even though I lost the coin flip. I know that the story's been you sort of haven't used the loss last year in the title match, any sort of motivation. As you said, it's in the past, you can't change it. But now as the season progresses to the state tournament series sectionals coming up, does that thought come around at all or do you push it away or do you just motivation or are you gonna give me the it's in the past <laughs> comment again probably it's in the past comment again I mean, <laughs> now right now everyone in the state zero and zero the regular season's over anything can happen in the postseason so you just need to always this, this next week we need to put, put myself and the team needs to push push ourselves to reach our goals thanks a lot john congratulations thank you